Welcome back. Do I have a little treat for you? What we're going to do is set up a kingdom, and for once in our lives, we're going to let them live peacefully. There's going to be no other kingdoms, just them, in a peaceful, beautiful world full of good biomes, honey, shiny rocks, and a singular purple tree. Now, you might be asking yourself, what's the fun in that? Peace? prosperity, no one dying. Here's the part I didn't mention yet. We're only gonna let them live a happy life for a certain amount of time. Get the heck out of here. Go away, stop it, knock it off. The rain, that's okay. It's that other thing, yeah, that thing, that's what I'm talking about. The rain's fine, you can do as much of that as you want. Get on out of here. As I was saying, we're gonna let them live peacefully for, I don't know, say 300 years or so, and then we're gonna release something dastardly, something evil, something sinister, something corrupted? Perhaps just a smidgen of corrupted biome, maybe in the center of the map. And that corrupted biome will slowly spread, and we'll see how they handle that situation. Spoilers, probably not very well. So anyway, let's get this show on the road. Let's go ahead and do the elves today. They populate quickly. Now granted, this will result in most likely their demise, but uh, it'll be a pretty sweet ride up until that point, you know? Okay, their slogan is with skill and dignity. We're gonna call them skill issue because clearly that will be what causes them to fall. Let's make them a nice green. And let's just, I don't know, I'm thinking we'll go sonic speed on this one. We gotta progress a lot of time. We're gonna just let them sit. We'll check in on them in a minute. Okay, year 100. Let's see how they're doing so far. Population 150. They spread over, you know, top right section of the map. Nothing too crazy yet. Let's check in on the king, shall we? See what he's all about. Kodono. He likes cider. He's a diplomat. His home is Oman. He's weightless, deceitful, but wise. Wise enough to know that deceit is the only way to become king. And he's got some pretty cool clothes, or armor, rather, and a legendary stick. Pretty cool. I like this guy. Let's see how he runs the kingdom until he dies of old age pretty quickly here. All right, year 200, they're about 700 population. They've spread to about half the map now. They're looking pretty good. And uh, there's a new king, Let's see what they're all about. Ha-Ona, they like cider as well, they're also a diplomat. They got some spicy looking armor and a cool ring and just a very okay stick. But hey, they're a genius, they're wise, and they're gluttonous. I sure hope they enjoy their peaceful times because pretty soon here, it's all gonna come crashing down. Okay, year 300, they went up by 3,000 population during the last 100 years. And you know, this might be far enough, but I kind of just want to go all the way to year 500 and just get the like all the gaps filled in because there's still a lot of empty space. They definitely can expand a lot more. So let's go 200 more years and we'll get this show on the road at year 500. Okie dokie, year 500. They're just shy of 5,000 population. Let's turn sonic speed off. Throw a little three times on so we can really soak in what they've got going on here. What a peaceful place. Actually, let's turn off this view. Nah, we need that on. Just kidding. So just shy of 5,000. They really have covered the entire continent, you know, pretty thoroughly too. They're even like crowded in some areas. They're not done expanding probably. There's still some gaps they, you know, could probably and will probably move into. Like this whole jungle area is pretty sparse, uh, but you know, they'll get around to it probably. Or will they? Because I don't know if you forgot over the last minute or two, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna mess things up now. I'm thinking we just kind of surround the mountain with corrupted and make it like, I don't know, corrupted mountain. Pretty cool name that I came up with. Oh, that's a cool mountain surrounded by corrupted. What's it called? Oh, that? That's Corrupted Mountain, of course. There we go. Okay, so if you're unfamiliar, somehow, if you're unfamiliar with what Corrupted does, are you gathering bones? Everyone that spends too much time on it gets a little trait called, does anyone have it yet? Okay, we'll give it a second. Okay, we got our first one. E. Aor. He likes sushi and he's cursed, bro. <laughs> Same. So as these people begin to get cursed, and as this corrupted biome begins to spread over their beautiful green lands, not very quickly, it does have to fight back and forth with the grass, but it will eventually overtake it. Also, now that I'm watching it, it looks like it decided to stop. Maybe it got nervous. Oh, there we go. Keep at it. Keep doing your thing. But all these cursed people are now a threat to their home without really knowing it. You know, would you know it if you were cursed? Some people are cursed without even knowing it. Look at that face. Absolutely no suspicion that she's cursed and that eventually 
she will be a spooky, scary skeleton and attack her own family. Kind of hardcore if you think about it. Okay, now I'm gonna turn off the kingdom view and the map names just for a little while so we can just get the actual view here. It takes some time for people to get corrupted. You know, not all of them are cursed yet, but uh, it's gonna happen. And once the first person dies and turns into a skeleton, here we go, it's happening. They turn into skeletons and ghosts. Once the cursed people die and turn on their own kind and maybe even kill some of their own kind who are also cursed, you get a little chain reaction going where people are getting cursed, dying, spawning as something evil, killing their friend, their former friends, who then turn into a skeleton or a ghost or whatever and kill someone else and onward it goes. I'm actually very curious, you know? Can the corrupted actually destroy all this eventually or, you know, will they contain it? Something we have seen happen is that if they throw torches, like if they burn the corrupted, it actually will burn the ground and get rid of the corrupted. So, I mean, there's a lot of it and they're gonna have to be quick about that if they're gonna wanna stop it. Technically, they could fight back, you know? They could beat the corrupted. And secondly, since they all have such good weapons and armor, can they just never really die to a ghost or a skeleton? Because the only time that they get overwhelmed is when a lot of them die and kind of start the chain reaction. If the chain reaction never begins, you know, if a bunch of them never die and make a group of ghosts and skeletons like all at once, you know, they can potentially just keep eliminating them one at a time. Now, if the biome grows far enough, then old age will become more of a concern than actually dying in a fight. Because if like this whole area became corrupted and then people were just constantly dying from old age just naturally, then eventually I feel like it'll take hold. But they're so far. They're so far in. Look at this. 5,000 population or almost 5,000 population. In my head, I'm thinking they're gonna be okay, but they can't really win ever. It's just a matter of time, right? Eventually, something bad's gonna happen. Someone's gonna slip up, like you. I know you're gonna slip up, T-Phone. I know you're gonna slip up. Look at that face. Look at these reaching little arms of corrupted going downwards further and further. Look how far it is from the start. A couple squares in every direction with some exceptions that went even further. Some real overachievers. Some biome that's just extra corrupted. You know, it's extra evil and it wants to show everyone. Look at this. Working hard out here. Good for you. Let's turn the speed up to times five because I feel like this might take a little while before anything interesting happens because I don't want to interfere. You know, I want them to, I want to know for real where this actually goes. Look at this giant person over here, Nomona. When they turn into a skeleton, that's going to be a bad experience for everyone. Giant skeleton giant ghost bad news it looks like they're still holding them off pretty well but look how far it's spread now we're getting out here it's not crazy far but look it's hit the farm over here which i don't think it can grow over the farm itself so it'll have to go around the farm so farms are going to become like little safe havens i guess yeah look at this this farm is just in the middle of the corrupted <laughs> just they're just farming like can we go home can we please go home that tree over there that's kind of spooky i don't like the way it's looking at me and the windmills over here like i'm a big fan okay so it looks like it's happening slowly. Well, it's not really taking over though. We're getting more and more ghosts popping up and more and more little fights here and there because there's just so many people that are cursed now. We're probably getting ones out here too that we're not really seeing. If you travel through here and then you go back home and you know die of old age or whatever, you're gonna get ghosty out here, you know? So it's probably happening everywhere the more and more corrupted pops up. Um, but yeah, no, no real threat so far seemingly. So, I mean, it really could go either way. It could just never actually take hold. But picture this, you know, if it really takes over the whole map, like eventually they gotta lose, right? Just how does it start? You know, it has to start. And once it starts, it won't stop. Once it gets past a couple kills in a row, you know, and it starts snowballing like that, it's gonna happen. I believe in it. But it's crazy to think that this biome could just destroy this kingdom of 5,000. You know, they're kind of stuck at 5,000 because I think they ran out of land. But can a kingdom of 5,000 fall just to the corrupted biome and nothing else? We're going to find out today, folks. Don't you worry. I don't know if you should be gathering whatever this is. It looks like just bones. What are you going to do with those, huh? We're up to year 567. So 67 years since the uh, corrupted began spreading. And uh, it's getting pretty far. Not as far as I thought, to be honest, but pretty far all the same. It doesn't spread over sand, does it? This will be a safe haven as well. 
a safe oasis, one might say. Uh, there's a couple of them. So these areas will be like safe zones. I mean, how safe can it really be? You know, it's like this group of five palm trees isn't going to protect you if you're surrounded by ghosts and skeletons. But, you know, it'll it'll prolong your life a little bit if you hang out here, probably. At least there's somewhere you'll be able to go. Uh, let's see. This farm is almost completely overtaken. And uh, this farm over here is still thriving. Good for them. And I'm just worried I'm going to miss it. You know, I really don't want to miss the first little squad of ghosts that kind of tips the scales, you know. Okay, we're getting more and more little fights. We're getting like two or three skeletons at a time. It's still not enough because they have these established armies that are just kind of destroying them right away, but it's gonna happen. I feel it. I'm like trying to convince myself. I'm like, there's no way they're gonna survive this. There's no way it's never gonna happen, but, but how is it gonna happen? You know, maybe they, maybe they can. It'd be kind of cool if the conclusion was that a map covered in corrupted could be survived in if you just are, you know, advanced enough to keep the skeleton ghost problem at bay. That'd be kind of cool. I still feel like it's unlikely, but maybe. See, we're getting these little groups here and there. The armies are just full-time busy on just keeping the skeletons down. You know, and most of them are spawning within their own ranks if you just watch them long enough. There. Can you imagine? <laughs> you're like in a squad of soldiers and you know that like your entire existence is just to fight like skeletons and ghosts that like your fellow soldiers are turning into. What a paranoid job that would be. All right, which one of you guys is next, huh? Because it ain't gonna be me. Oh, no way. It's happening. It's the farm. All the farmers got turned. No way. Okay, year 634, um, the Corrupted is yay big. It's not even that big compared to how much map there is, but I don't know if this can be stopped at this point. Because once there's more ghosts and skeletons than there are armies, you just get overwhelmed. And once more people are dying than they are killing, uh, then it just kind of never stops. <laughs> Goodness. Okay, well, this is the beginning of the end. Look at that. Okay, here's an army coming in trying to stop it. I don't know if you can. Okay, this is crazy. This is crazy. Oh, here we go. <laughs> Hold them back, brothers. Jeez. Okay, what's their stats? We got 167, uh, 7 damage. That's not that crazy. Well, what about skeletons? Two, 280. Oh, they keep their armor if they turn into a skeleton. No way. They keep their weapons and armor. Okay, that's... That's crazy. Okay. So now they're going to be even harder to kill because they just, <laughs> they just, they all died while wearing armor and weapons. Nice going. You armed the skeletons. In an effort to stop the skeletons, they instead gave the skeletons weapons and armor. Um, where are you going, buddy? Maybe you should turn around and go back home. Yeah, what, what did you think was going to happen? Well, you think the ghosts look friendly? Rip, dude. Now you're a ghost. Nice going. They're kind of cutting them back. Look at this. There's not even that many left. No way. Okay, there's still a lot. Okay, now there's a bunch up here. But this whole giant mob that was down here, I feel like they mostly dealt with it, right? There's just a few stragglers left. The use of bows, if you have enough of them and just never really get hit, you can kind of you can kind of clean it up, you know? Oh man, look at this. It's a ghost town now. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, there's not going to be that much to watch until the Corrupted actually spreads far enough. So let's actually give this the old-fashioned sonic speed and just kind of watch the dots. White dots obviously are ghosts and skeletons and green dots are the elves because they're kind of clearing them out. But the thing is, the Corrupted is never going to take over everyone. The elves are never going to get completely wiped out until the whole map is corrupted because there's too many like safe non-cursed people back here potentially. So they're not going to lose, but it's definitely not looking good for them in the long term because <laughs> they completely lost the whole center of the map. Oopsie doopsie boys. Not a very good idea. Dying like that. All you got to do is not die. It's that easy. <laughs> Cringe. Man, look at this place. They're just fighting everywhere. And you can tell that they've been throwing fire because look at all the gaps in the corrupted. You know, they could kind of cut a bunch of holes in the corrupted that way and eventually make it a not threat. But I think the corrupted will eventually spread back over. So I don't know if that's really going to work. Even the like safe haven of the farm over here is kind of getting taken over again. So that doesn't look good. But yeah, this whole top left part of the map here is not looking too good. Okay, look at how this place is just crawling, dude. The entire center has just been completely covered in skeletons and ghosts. There's just no way you could stop this at this point. Will it eventually wipe them out completely? 
We'll see. I would think so at this point. Because there's definitely no way you could actually kill all these guys. Like, they probably have them outnumbered. What are we at here? We're at 2,800. Their population's been almost cut in half and dropping rapidly. Sheesh. Okay, maybe we'll leave that on for now. Um, jeez. Nah, I can't really see with that on. Another village getting wiped out, looks like. Down to four. Bro. It's all these mad villages. Lie mad. Yo no mad. <laughs> Why are you so mad, dude? Okay, fellas. It ain't looking good. What's the total population? Still dropping down to 2,500. Let's just sit and wait. It's kind of incredible to watch, you know? Watching the corrupted spread over the land. And it's not like it just instantly kills everyone. You know, like, the corrupted doesn't kill anybody. It doesn't even do damage to you. It's just your own people turning on themselves when they die. It's kind of hardcore. Look at this whole army. This whole army over here. But they're all cursed. And looks like they're getting pretty old. So it's only a matter of time that they join the ranks of those that they're trying to stop. You either die a hero or you live long enough to see yourself become the skeleton actually it's kind of the opposite of that you know you either you either die and become the skeleton or ghost or you live long enough to watch all your friends die and turn into skeletons and ghosts and then you also eventually do the same thing it's kind of it's a lose-lose it's really not a very good deal for anyone we're just torturing the elves you know i almost chose the dwarves today but people always accuse me of hating the dwarves because i always like accidentally kind of screw them over uh accidentally i would say that they're actually my favorite race and i say that all the time but they always lose and i always get mad but it's kind of like you know you get disappointed in someone because you know they can do better you know it's not because you don't like them it's like hey man you got potential and it's frustrating to watch you squander it that's me and the dwarves. But today, you know, we put the elves in here because I didn't want to torture the dwarves. Now I'm torturing the elves. So that's just life for you, huh? Let's check the population. We're down to 2,000. I actually would have thought they'd be lower by now by how scattered they are now. They're just, their own kingdom is separated into like five different pieces and they're all in combat. I don't know who's still repopulating right now. Can you imagine being born here? <laughs> Oh yeah, we used to have a really big kingdom, but uh, it slowly became overgrown with a horrible place of spooky trees. And everyone that we all know and love is now ghosts and skeletons that are trying to kill us. So anyway, finish your homework and try to do it quickly because we're all going to die soon. Yeah, we really are down to like some peninsulas. We got this long stretch back here, this whole kind of coastal area. This whole coastal area is probably the biggest piece of land. They got four villages of about 200 each. This one over here is screwed, 140. They ain't going to last much longer probably. Over here, they got this mountain kind of breaking it up for them, which is good, but eventually, you know, they too will fall. They do have this farm that's going to kind of keep them safe for a little while. These people on the end will probably be the last one standing because they got the furthest from the corrupted. And this whole coastal area is already kind of destroyed, but uh, we'll see. Total population 17 down to 16, and the mobs of skeletons and ghosts are just everywhere, man. Everywhere. And look how well armed the skeletons are. Look at 960 health. This guy's got 64 kills, does 32 damage, has silver, steel, and mithril gear. <laughs> Look at all these traits, too. Jeez, dude, these skeletons, no wonder the elves are losing. The elves stand no chance, especially because none of the armies are really left. So it's just like civilians trying to survive against like these giga chad skeletons, and it just ain't happening. All the elf destroyed buildings are still here, so you can see like just how far this has gone. And also, why is there like a little bit of grass right here? Holding out hope. It'd be funny if there's just like one guy standing in the middle of it, uncursed. Just like, I won't. I won't turn into one of them. But yeah, look at all this stuff that used to be elf land, you know? There used to be a farm like right here, right? This isn't this where the, the whole thing began. What's the damage? 800. 800 left. Okay, well that pretty much answers the question. There's definitely no way, down to 700, this is happening quick. Yeah, there's no way they come back from this. So the answer to the question, no matter how strong a kingdom gets, if you place corrupted on the map that, you know, place enough of it for it to spread, eventually, it might take a thousand, two thousand years, but eventually you will wipe out everything on the map. And you know, a nice friendly uh, kingdom of ghosts and skeletons will take over take its place, you know? Plus, they get to live forever, so they get to carry on the memory of those who they used to be. Isn't that kind of nice? I mean, what would you rather be? This guy or this guy? Would you rather be Fene, six damage, 70 health, or Un Yula Ono, attractive? Never mind that. His personality is great. Nine damage, 60, that's honestly still pretty weak, but you know, whatever. Major skill issue on their part, 
5,000 population and they couldn't even get the win. <laughs> Cringe. All right. Oh, the coast is gone over here. Wiped out officially and down here as well, looks like. Yep. Completely gone. Um, up here is kind of like it's happening too. Look how far off of the biome the ghosts are traveling they're going way into town so only a matter of time there same thing over here although a lot of fire but look how far up here the ghosts are they literally have like four buildings left look at this these ghosts are so aggressive and the skeletons too dang dude look how far they went all the way up the coast bro okay uh, this king over here, like, the ghosts have not made it that far. They're, like, staying in the biome over here, but we got some sweaty ghosts and skeletons out here. They're like, no way, man. We'll bring the fight to you. Is this the last building? Is this it? Come on, help him out. This poor ghost is trying to do the whole thing all by himself. Okay, what's left over here? This? They're gonna lose the region? Okay, that peninsula's gone. Over here is just barely hanging on. Same thing where they're all killing them way far back. Look at that. Okay, the region's about to fall as well, I think. So we're down to this section over here, and it's only a matter of time. Oh, they've got like this squad on the front lines. Good for them. Down to 40 population though. They ain't gonna get far. Look at them, they're sending an army out into the corrupted. Dude, they're trying to set up a village out here. <laughs> Dude, I don't know if they understand the severity of the situation here. You know, they're over here like thinking the rest of the kingdom is fine. They're like, oh, we just gotta like get out there, you know? The rest of the elves will help us. And it's like, no man, I got really bad news for you. You're actually the only ones left, but somehow they're managing to go positive. They're up to 70 and <laughs> they keep trying to set up new villages. And like they sit there for a little while i guess like since there's so few elves now we're getting so few new ghosts and skeletons so there might be like a little bit of a pushback they're not going to turn it around but there's not like an army of ghosts and skeletons over here because no one's really died over here because they're able to handle a few at a time maybe the elves will win this thing after all all of their army just turned yep they're down to 15. They went up by like 40 or 50 population for a minute there. They had like two villages going. It just couldn't sustain itself. Down to 10. We got sweaty ghosts out here doing the thing. They got a lot of ground to cover, but there's like no people left. So only a matter of time over here. There it is. They're doing it. Not the well. Bummer, dude. Okay, that's it. I think that's everyone. Where's the official word? Kingdom skill issue was destroyed. Dang, that's rough. Actually kind of interesting to watch. You know, not a happy ending, of course, unless you are a ghost or a skeleton, then, then it's a really happy ending. A kingdom of 5,000 elves, you know, advanced technology, weapons, armor, all that. Then they just got destroyed by a, just a little teensy smidgen, and a little bit more than a teensy smidgen of corrupted, but you know, corrupted. It corrupted the world. Who would have thought? Corrupted kills all. I guess we knew that already, but now we've seen it with our own eyes. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't. And let me know your ideas for future videos down below. And I will see you in the future. Ooh, I wonder what the future is going to be like. I guess uh, we'll find out. Okay, bye.